Tiny TV on OC16. We're at Kapolei High School and Charmaine, our model, and the whole classroom. This is the Health Careers Academy at Kapolei School. And just to kind of explain what it is, I'm going to ask the uh, teachers to, uh, this is the kind of the staff, the faculty, and your name, please. Um, I'm Kalea Rogers. Kalea, Kalea? Kalea. Kalea, what is the Health Careers Academy? Well, the Health Careers Academy is about 110 juniors and seniors who are all interested in the health field. So we are their four core teachers. I teach English, Ms. Kusumoto teaches social studies, Mr. Raynon is our science teacher, and Ms. Inouye over here is our health teacher. And they all want to be doctors and nurses and... Um, I want that guy with the suit. I think he can operate on me. <laughs> Wait, Jacob. He's dressed, he's dressed apart. So, he's dressed for okay, so this is different. Most schools don't have this. Um, yeah, we're, we're pretty unique. Um, and we have the school itself has several paths. So, this is the health path. We have a business academy as well. We have a fine arts academy, a graphics design academy, and um, an industrial design and LCAT academy. All right. Well, we gave little. Um, video shots of these kids because they're working hard and kudos to Kapolei for doing this. Now let's find out about our Thank You Very Much Award and uh, Scott Williams is here from Lex Brody and we're going to find out what today's winner is all about. Hey Tiny, actually we're here for our 90, just looked it up, our 96th winner of the Thank oh. You Very Much Award. All right. And by the way, how old was Lex when he passed away? Uh, Lex was 98. Wow. And we were hoping he'd make 100, yeah, but... I thought for sure he'd go well over 100. So. <laughs> All right, and uh, this uh, morning's winner is uh, a student who wrote about her mom? That's correct. A very touching letter written to her mom. Um, so Jennifer Wong, would you please come up? You're our 96th winner. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> so Jennifer, Jennifer, right? mm -hmm. did did you know you won? Not really. <laughs> like my teachers kind of told me there's an award, but I didn't know it was this. They told me it was science fair. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, mom is gonna get to be right next to you, and you can read the letter. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Dear mom, I don't know how to express my gratitude for your unconditional love and care. You always give me the best, but you're also the one who sacrifices the most. I know it was a difficult decision to move away from your homeland into an unfamiliar environment where you face many hardships, such as approaching a different language. You work three jobs to help cover the family expenses, yet you never complain one word in front of the family, nor did you ever bring your anger home. Even after Dad died, you still appear to be strong. You always kept problems yourself and managed to take care of them without me knowing. From that, I learned to deal with unpleasant situations successfully. You always blame yourself for not giving me enough happiness, but you never think of yourself for even one minute. I am proud and grateful to have you as my mom with all your dedicated work for the family. I remember you once told me, your father and I are not well-educated people. We want to earn more money for your learning. Our only hope is for you to be successful. When you grab my hand, I stare at your rough hands that were once smooth and beautiful. I learned to be strong like you and to deal with problems independently. From you, I learned to value education and gain confidence. You taught me to become the well-rounded girl I am today through encouragement and to put in my best efforts in everything. You're the one who values me, my life, over everything, including your own. Mom, you're like my umbrella, protecting me from rain and the strong rays of sunlight. Love you, Mom. And truly, truly, thank you for everything. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, Mom. <laughs> I always start to well up when I'm holding this camera when I hear stuff like that. And, uh, Mom, is it uh, true Scott was saying sometimes they don't always say it to you in person, yeah? I mean, <laughs> uh, so thank you, Jennifer, as a solar for Mom. <laughs> and uh, I, I'm proud of um, Jennifer and all of her hard uh, work. And I, I, I want Jennifer to have a bright uh, future. And I, when she has um, uh, become uh, successful, I, I know that she, she will be, um, help more people. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. 
and I uh, thank you all um, all the teachers and people that helped Jennifer. <laughs> thank you. All right. So Jennifer, what do you want to be when you graduate and go to college? I want to be a doctor. Wow. <laughs> so it paid off the hard work for mom and, and yes. dad and getting you to where you are today. Uh, you know, you get to donate some money to a nonprofit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who did you pick and why? Uh, St. Jude's Children, uh, Cancer Children Research Center. And reason? I uh, just want to help the kids and like, um, there's a lot of people that are less fortunate than us, but um, they deserve the, like, the help and the care and I just want to take part of it. Wow, good job. Class, your fellow student, what do you guys think? <laughs> now that's got to be a good feeling too, Jennifer, that you have your peers, your your fellow students that just admire me. I could hear some sniffles and uh, you touched everybody's heart. Uh, how do you feel right now? I'm very shocked. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say, but um, I do hope that I become successful. I do want to become a doctor. Uh, I do want to help out um, uh, the community and just give back to society. And when I do become successful, uh, I just want to reciprocate for all that my parents have done to me, for me. Oh, terrific. Well, thank you very much. And Mom, thank you for having this smart kid. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> he is a really a uh, touching. <laughs> you're, you're from what uh, country? Um, China, Hong Kong. How do you say thank you very much in uh, Hong Kong? Um, fi, um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Hodaje. All right. Hodaje? Yeah. Okay. Class, on the count of three, Hodaje. One, two, three. Hodaje. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kapale.